Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, Golden58. Back to you again with another video of the Vivitar capture card. And actually, I have a little um, question about some people having problems with their little audio coming in to the, um, in their little streaming uh, application and stuff, whatever they're using. OBS or XP Broadcaster is what I normally to use, but XP Broadcaster is my primary. We're gonna, I'm going to go around here and show you about how to set up the video again in case if you haven't gotten the first time on the first um, video tutorial I did. So we're going to do a little recap about how we're going to set this up and also talk about the audio output so where you can actually hear it. So first thing we're going to do is that of course this is everything brand new on this. Like the new scene, there's no um, sources here. So I'm starting this off from scratch. What we're gonna do is you can create a new scene. You can rename your scene to whatever screen scenes, whatever you want. Over here in the source, once you have rename your scene to whatever, and over here in the source, you're gonna uh, click on this plus to add a source. We're gonna go over here to video capture device. You can rename it to whatever you want. Uh if it's our capture. We're gonna do it like that. Don't matter whatever you want, name it to. Hit OK. Now, in case if it doesn't select this arm automatically, usually it probably just select something else. But um, so once you have that, you co of course you make it uh, choose USB video, and then everything's already set. You got your screen right here. You can also see it in the background. Now for the audio part. Some people have problems about the audio not coming in. Um, in case if you haven't noticed that once you have your once you select your USB video, you notice down here that it automatically adds the audio source. To, uh, kind of make it smaller here. Right down here, you notice that these are audio mixers right here. You got the desktop audio, which is default sound. You got the default microphone as well too, whatever one that you plug up. Out even through the um through the um webcams also has a built-in mic just in case down here you see the vivitar capture which is the audio right here uh it might maybe a name something else if i was to rename it let's hit okay on that so let's see what happens if i rename it. maybe yeah okay so it just only pick up the name of the um device that you name it all right so in this case, we got the guitar capture. So you can see it's picking up the gain sound right now. Maybe you can't hear it over your headphones or speakers. That's because it's um, doing an audio capture only. And it's not outputting to anything, but it is picking up the sound. I have recorded a 10 seconds of this. And this is what it sounds like right here. Okay, so you hear that clip right there as a recording. That's by default when it's um when I select the USB video and everything is already set up. Now, in case that if you don't see this down here, if you don't have an audio down here, uh, we're gonna mute that for right now. So if you don't have an audio, you can record it, but then it would not pick up any sound from the game. What you can also do is do this: go over here, get into your properties of your capture card. So I'm going to go down here to audio output mode where you can see it say capture audio only. Now, sometimes maybe no audios come out, but if you want to make sure that it does come out, you can just click on this. You should be able to hear a sound coming from there then. That also being said, it'll be picked up on a um, desktop audio right here. Um, so yeah, once that is set up, Oh, we're going back or uh, audio only. So you could also do it like that as well. You might have to do some um delay to set up to match with your mic and video in case if it does have a little delay off uh, a little offset audio and video sync. So oh, cancel. Another way to do this is that you can also add audio by doing this. 
Go to your, we're going to add another um, source. We're going to go here to audio input capture. Alright, this is going to be like the vivid car game. Alright, so hit that. Now, only simple selection. We got the devices up here. The device we want to choose is the USB digital audio, which is the digital audio interface. That is the capture card for the USB video. Select that, hit OK. Um, that, and right down here, you'll see it says Vivitar Game Sound, and it's also picking up the sound here too. I also recorded a 10 second clip for this, using this sound input as well. Now, now that uh, you know how to actually add audios to it, you can also do it the same way. Property, let's see, properties. Okay, that's the capture card. Hey, let's see, how do we do it? Do we go to. Uh, it's been a while since I used this type of feature like that. So, right over here, we're going to go to properties. Right there. Advanced audio properties. Okay, here we go. Now, this the audio properties right here. Of course, the guitar capture two is also in it as well because we never. Well, it's, it comes in there automatically in case that they are present. So you got your game sound right here. You got your capture card right here. Now you got your milliseconds right here to make it sync with the video in case if one one or the other is offset from one or the other. Stuff like that. Got your volume right here. You can bap, you can boost up the volume even more if you want. Of course, you got your balance of left and right. You say active, which is active right now. As you can see, the audio bar is moving. So, yep. So, if you want to try to sync it up, you use this um these two sounds here to sync up. Probably, let's say if it's like uh. Half half a second off from the um if the video is half second off from the audio, so I would say or the other way around. Also, we to go here to the video capture two in the properties, and then let's give me a little round. Um, the video no. How do we? It's a way to do this. It's been a while since I use OBS. Hmm. Filters. Wait. Audio video filter. Hey. Wait a minute. Is this it? There we have video delay. The video delay is synchronization. The effects, not the effects. So it'll be all up under the uh, audio video filter. The video delay right here. Uh, whatever name that you want. And here was your uh, add the delay of the video. All right. So now you know how to do that one. You set up. This here, if the video is like half a second off of the audio, then you're gonna put 500 milliseconds, which is so every 1,000 milliseconds is one second. Just keep that in mind. So you're gonna put that as 500 milliseconds. That's half a second, and then it should be able to sync up with the audio. Basically, it's half off. All right, show. Um. So yeah, this is how you set up the audio. Hopefully, this tutorial helps you out of learning how to play audio sounds through. The, um, through your speakers or whatever you want. In the case that if you do recording, I would probably recommend not to add the sounds playing through your speakers because it will automatically add it into the recording anyway. Once you see this up in your audio mix. Yep. So hopefully that helps out. And as always, thank you for watching and leave a comment in case you have problems. Like the video if they help out for you. Later, guys.